Hi y'all. Welcome to my video on my version of sketch painting. Um, it's mainly based on a dry brushing technique that you dry brush uh, different gradients of gray all the way up to a bright white onto the model and then use tints to tint the model um, different colors. And you basically have pre-shaded and pre-highlighted by doing that dry brushing step. And so it is extremely quick. Um, and it, it gives a, a pretty good uh, result, as you're going to see. So, uh, without further ado, here's a video. First step. And uh, I've done him with a brush and not a spray can, because he was initially primed tan with a spray can, and I just went back over him with diluted black. Um, to give him a black but that's the basis you start all this with black and it's basically you're going to dry brush in several gradients of gray up to white and then you're going to tint the areas of clothing and flesh and hair and things like that with tints and then you're going to do metallics in pretty much the regular way but you're going to wash the metallics at the same time so i'm gonna go ahead and get started um First thing you need is lay out your set of paints, and uh, I'm going to use craft paint for the black and white, and everything else I'm going to be using uh, Citadel paints. So I'm going to lay out a little bit of black. Now the white you want to get is the whitest white you can get, titanium white. I mean, get the whitest white because the last highlight needs to be extremely white. Okay, laid that out. Now I'm going to take a I'm taking get a little mix. I'm gonna mix me up like about a battleship gray. I'm taking a little from the white and a little from the black. I want a kind of a darker but medium gray. Uh, you know, like I said, battleship gray, right up in, right up in there. Okay, and that's gonna be my first dry brush. Now, for a dry brush itself, I'm gonna be using an old uh, Citadel base coat brush. That I've worn the tip off pretty considerably. Um, you can make your own dry brushes uh, by taking older brushes and chopping the ends off. You don't want an extremely soft brush like this. You don't want an extremely hard bristly brush. You want out about in the middle. And this one has, you know, kind of worn out. It has a few feathered tips on the end, but uh, pretty worn out. So I'm going to start the dry brushing process. And if, if you don't know about dry brushing, here's how it works. Uh, you're going to load the, the brush up with the color. You're going over to a paper towel. And you're taking almost all the paint off. Well, in the first few dry brushes that I'm going to do here, I'm taking less paint off. I'm leaving a, a little more on the, on the brush. And what you're doing with dry brushing is you're dragging it over the miniature and you're hitting the highest parts. The only parts that's going to stay black are the very fine recesses of the model. We'll go ahead and load up with some more gray. And how you can test how much how much is on the brush is how much you drag it across. If you see the texture of the paper towel will pick it up. You know and that's the way you know about how much you have on the on the brush. And for these, this first coat in the gray you want it all over and you want to try to avoid the areas that are obviously metallic. The tip of that spear I don't want to get his hand. Most of these weapons on here look to be completely metallic. He does have this kind of gold embedded into his skin. Um, your gold or something. Uh, that's going to be painted with metallics. And there's going to be no way not to dry brush over because it's so embedded all over his skin. You're going to have to dry brush over it. But you want to keep the, the parts like his helmet different weapons and things you want to keep them but there's some parts inside these weapons that I'm gonna paint like a little bit of different color like they have like GW did and the lantern part I guess it's inside of the uh, the lantern part that's inside of the weapon there I want to paint that a different color than metallics but on the first coat I'm getting really heavy and I'm just leaving just the black in everything Make sure you're pretty thorough with these coats because the, this is really your base coat. OK, 
Okay, and in the technique of dry brushing, when you first come to the model off of the paper towel, you're, you're going lighter pressure on the model because you want to see how much is on it at first. You want to see how much you're leaving on the high areas because you can have too much paint still left on the brush. And if you're leaving too much, you need to go back to the paper towel or you can have not enough and you need to load back up. Well, another th technique to do is when you first get on the model, go on the more raised areas first and hit them first. And that'll drag a lot of the heavy paint off of the brush. And then as, you, as the brush gets less and less paint on it, as you're keeping going and going and going now, I, I apply more and more pressure as it loses paint off the brush. Okay, I'm almost done with that gray. And then now I'm gonna be switching. I wanna take and mix up a, a little bit lighter gray. This is gonna be my gradient right before white. So I'm gonna take it to about right there you just want to there's no set, set color but a, a pretty much a light gray right that I'm gonna go a little bit lighter and I'm gonna add a little more white for my final okay that'll get me that gray add a bit more white that's gonna be my final highlight okay and I go to the second gray I do the same thing but I'm going a little bit lighter I'm not going quite as heavy because I'm going to leave some of that other gray. And this is where you can start to see the detail of the model. That first gray is very dark. Now you can start to see some of the detail start to come out on the model. As you start with that gray, with that little bit lighter gray, that second gray. Okay, and you can be really sloppy. I mean, you can get a little bit on the gray, on the metallic parts. It doesn't matter. But you just kind of want to try to stay away from them. Alright, I'm going to make sure I get it on his face there. His face is really up in there. You know, there is a lot of detail on this model, on all the new GW models, of course. And really, with this sketch painting, the more detail, the better. Okay, I'm almost done with that coat. Let me get a little bit more. Then I'm going to be going up to my white. If you wanted to go one more gradient, you probably could. And especially like on a hero paint job, but I, I'm, I'm painting this one guy at a time. I, I, I'm not scared to line up 20 guys with this method. And with this, you're going through, and when you got a lot of guys lined up, you'll go through in like an assembly line, of course, doing the different gradients. But once you get them down to all the gradients on them, the white on them, and they're in a complete black and white model, then you have to do all the tints at one time so that they're gonna mix. You can't just do a browns, on, on everybody switching across and then try to come back and do the greens because it, you can't let the brown dry before the green. Now I'm going to go. You notice I haven't gone to a water at all. I might go to just a little bit of water to clean this off to make sure I'm going to get a pure white now. Okay, let me get some white. Wipe it off some to make sure I'm clear. Alright, and now like I said, I'm going to drag on some of the heavier detail of the model That'll tell me how much is on it. I have a little bit too much. Tell me how much is on the brush. And I want it to start to drag across. And at this point with the white, I'm only hitting the highest highlights. I'm also kind of thinking the way the sun comes down, okay? At these tops, I'm going to give it a little bit high, brighter white. A little bit more pressure. When I push down more pressure, it, it gains brightness. Okay, and I'm using that as I sweep across. The more pressure I give, the brighter it's getting. Okay, and I also... Not, nothing up under the arms. I'm not shading up under there. It's only basically where light would come down and it would be illuminated. Not up under the butt. Nowhere. Make sure you get that face in there. Okay. And as, as the uh, white starts to wear off the brush, I can go heavier and heavier with my pressure. Okay. I got to get a little bit more white right now. We're almost done with the prep work for this. Okay, I'm being a little bit more sloppier in this one than my last video, but I think it's going to work out okay. Okay, don't forget the hands. I always forget to highlight the hands that are on the weapons. I just always forget those for some reason. Okay, and as you can see, now we're getting pretty much a black and white model. Looks like a, like a negative or something like a photograph of the model. Oh. 
You see the black has stayed in the recesses and now we've shaded all the way up to a white. Okay, once you got this in this condition, it really needs to dry for a few minutes. You don't need to tint right over the uh, white that you just put on. That does need to dry for a little bit. Though. You need to look over the model, make sure you haven't missed any spots. I missed a little bit on his back here that I'm going to hit. Okay. Now, while it, while I'm waiting for this to all this all to dry up enough to where I can get tints, I'm going to go ahead and paint the metallics. Now, I've taken the liberty of laying out a few metallics over here. And I'm going to uh, start base coating. And what I'm usually using is uh, right here with a, is a zero sizing M. Grumbacher. And uh, first I'm just going to go with the gold. I'm using a, I uh, laid out some uh, Retributor gold. And I'm going to go over the spots I think that are going to be gold. Um, I, I'm, I'm liking this helmet as gold. Alright, and you need to uh, kind of stay within the lines on this. Don't go back over the whites that you've done, like the hair. Don't if you miss any marks. You're going to need to dry brush again with white if you go too far out of the lines in your coloring. A lot of something like I just did. Some of it, some of it's gonna blend, but I'm going back with the helmet. Okay, I'm gonna paint those a little bit different shades, those little ringy things on his helmet. Okay, other side. the helmet helmet done okay what else is gold besides those little thingies in his I believe I'm gonna do the trim on this lantern I'm gonna put it gold that trim across there um that trim at the bottom of that this axe here okay I believe I'm going to uh, do that little Ruin at the bottom of this is going to be gold. Okay, what else? Um, the keys. I think I'm going to do the keys hanging from his mustache braids. I guess that's, I mean, I guess that's what that is. There's a little ringy ding holding part of his hair together there. Get that. Now I'm going to go around. I guess that little thing tying his uh, back braid together, those are going to be gold, those ruins. Hitting those with the Retributor gold as a base coat. Okay, uh, I guess there's some little doodads on that horn. Uh, that part of that horn I'm going to hit in gold. I think I'll do that little dealy gold. Um, okay, let's start in on the little parts. End of the haft of that axe. Okay. I guess there's a bracelet. I do that in bronze, but I'm gonna come back and get that. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit these spots on his back that are gold. I imagine you could dry brush these and then come back with a small dry brush and come back in between, but I think that's just too much to get the skin back to its white color. Okay. Trying to stay within the line, but at the same time, I mean, I'm not spending forever on this guy. Um, I'm kind of hero painting him because I'm going into all these details, but at the same time, man, I'm looking for speed. I need him off of my desk, off of my paint desk and into the battles, man. And uh, I, I'm sure that his ancestors and, and all will uh, bless his dice rolls, and Lord knows I need that. Um, if he's painted on that battlefield instead of just coming out primed or completely unpainted. Um, been playing some Silver Tower. Um, but mainly I'm going to use him in uh, narrative games I have going of Sigmar. It would just be a, a character someone can play or, or a character that shows up for, a, for some reason in the story. 
and they either have to fight against him or he's gonna you know be an NPC that will team up with the group for a little while you know and I'll I'll control him you know or whatever okay I've just about got the goal done now there's just a couple parts that I'm gonna do in a brass just as a just for a a counterpoint to some of this gold and so what I what I'm gonna do this balance our gold is its base so I'm gonna put down some of that and main parts of that I'm gonna do is probably that that head there these head dealios on that on that I don't know what kind of weapon this is some kind of a, a, a spear a mace with I don't know um, I guess around here. With metallics, man. Uh, a lot of people are down on GW's metallics, but I kind of, I kind of prefer them. I've tried some other people's uh, army painters and things like. That. A lot of people saying they're drying up on them. I, I don't prefer Vallejos either. There's only a few little things I prefer Vallejo for. Okay, I'm just about done with this uh, brass here that I'm putting on. It's gonna be on this weapon. Okay, now I need to go back and hit the silver parts. And I'm, I'm base coating here with this uh, lead belcher, I believe. It's gonna be my base here. And that'll be the weapon itself out here. said the inside parts of those axes I'm going to tint that's why I dry brush them up okay it's one side of the axe second side of the axe okay let's go with that the part that he's holding on to half silver in there all right so far the base coat okay up on this helmet here I believe that's all gonna be silver this part oh, I forgot that little guy up on the helmet I'm gonna do him bronze just like the ones on one on the weapon there I'll come back and hit him with balasar gold as a base okay I gotta get all the this weapon here. Okay, almost done with the silver here. Um, let's make that a silver bracelet. Highlight that way up. We'll get to the end. It's a silver bracelet. Anything else we got on him? I guess these are some straps on that little horn. Now you're not wanting to do the little belt buckles, the little tiny things like that. It's going to be in the detail paint. Mainly you're just putting a base coat on the metallics. Okay, let's go back to that balasar and get the guy up on his helmet. Because I want that in a copper. Let's get that. Okay, what else? I saw one more thing I wanted copper. Yeah, one of those rings around there, man. Let's put one of these rings in copper on top of that gold. Look on the other side and duplicate it. Ah, these spots up on the top here in his hair. I'm gonna do them in gold. Okay, got them done in gold. All right, I believe I'm almost done with the metallics. Uh, I think I'll make that little symbol back there in a gold, and I'm going way over. I might have to come back on it. Now, spots that you've gone over in the gold too far. Of course, you want to thin your paints, like Duncan. Thin your paints down a little bit. And these spots that uh, you've missed down in the that are right next to a recess, 
You can go back in with some black and touch over it and get rid of that. Okay. A lot of the wash is going to take care of some of this, but if you went over too far, now I'm going to go over and touch with some white dry brush right in this hair where I went too far on one of the helmet. Where did I go? Right on his mustache. I go back with some white because I had hit it with that. So, let me smooth that back out. All right. Now I've missed a little metallic spot on his wrist. I'm gonna just go ahead and just make it silver. All right. I believe that's it. Okay, I want to go ahead and dry brush that little that face just a little bit with that white because I believe I went over. And I'm gonna get a lot smaller brush here, a dry brush that I've made out of a. A very small brush. I'm gonna get up in the face again because I know I went over with the silver into his face. Because I want that, I want the face to come out some. Yeah. Okay. This one's got a gold on his arm. All right, and we're just about ready to go ahead and uh, start with the washes. Okay, that's him with the base coats of metallic. Oops. That's him with his base coats of metallics. And uh, just about ready for the washes. Okay, the white on the washes should be about dry by now. And for washing on to that, I've got an old Citadel layer brush medium holds a little bit of paint you know it's pretty old i can't use it for detail or anything anymore but the first wash we're going to do is uh i like to do the uh the brighter colors first so let's go ahead and get his beard so i want to kind of hit i'm going to hit his beard in a couple of layers a red up to a uh, up to an orange up to a yellow so i'm going to open a crimson wash orange wash and a yellow wash okay so we're gonna work you got to kind of work on the whole hair and everything everything that's using these colors you're gonna work on it one time so the first thing we'll do is we'll come in here with the red his beard now I'm just laying color on I'm letting the model take it to its spots okay I'm avoiding the face staying on the hair I'm just letting the model take it because I got enough of this tint in my brush. Okay. So I've got that red in there. Now I'm going to come immediately back over with the orange. Okay. Now what you've done with that dry brush is you've highlighted and shaded beforehand. Now if you start to get too much of a buildup, you unload on the paper towel. You come back to the model, touch, 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 to keep taking out. All right. I need another orange there. Okay, and I'm gonna go straight up with the orange. I think I'm gonna base it with orange and then come back with the red on that. Okay, so I go both sides of the uh, hat, the helmet. This Spartan-like thing. I'm trying to stay off the metallics, but I've gotten a little bit on there. All right, up in the bottom part of it, I'm going to dip in some red. Take it back off if I've got too much. Dip in some more red in the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to take some yellow go along this top. All right, and it's going to fade in. You're almost like working with watercolors. All right, and that yellow is going to tint that, that top white part, you know, and right now, you can't see the blend a whole lot. You got to make sure you're taking off a lot of the excess by unloading on the paper towel and coming back and taking off. You don't want to get too much bleed onto the metallics at this point. Okay, that going down there. 
Probably should have went orange first on the beard because I've got now like a pinky thing going. So I have to dry brush back over the beard later. First, all right, let's get the orange on that pigtail in the back. Okay, all right, now we need to start in with some flesh shading. Okay, so there's flesh. I'm going to use the Reichlin flesh shade. I'm going to keep my tents open in case I have to come back to them. Okay. Got that Reichlin flesh shade going. I'm going to go ahead and hit his flesh areas. And I'm going over the top of the gold and everything that I had going on. Alright. Like I said, you need to unload. Now, see, I got some of my red bleeding down. You need to unload. him all over. I'm just while I'm washing him. Like I said, I'm letting the model take it to where it needs it. In the recesses and all over. And it's tinting that white area as it goes. Alright. Now that I got that Reichlin done, I'm going to come back with some Agrax. And I'm hit all the gold areas. Except for the gold on his back. Agrax Earthshade. Okay, and on that Agrax, that's where I'm going to hit the gold parts of the weapons that I did. Those bronze parts, I hit that with that Agrax too. Um, the gold helmet here. Make sure I get that. Agrax, I've got too much build up. I want to peel some off. Right, hitting that with the agrax. You kind of try to stay off your silver a little bit because the agrax will tint it a reddish. So, agrax on all this gold on these keys. You drag some of that red off those keys and get agrax on them. Okay, more agrax over here. Just about done with that step. Make sure I get it in the back here. Oh, I forgot his hand, didn't I? Yep. Yeah. His hand with a little Agrax to lend it in. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to the Non Oil. And, uh, I don't think I, I don't think it's dark enough on his skin, so I'm going to I'm going to hit some of the some of the parts of his skin with this Agrax, and that's also going to bring out that gold. Um, thanks. So I'm going to come back over, come back over that initial. Reichland flesh shade with with some agrax on his on his skin. Like I said, I'm gonna come back, take away some of the excesses. All right. Okay. Now I'm going over to my non oil. That's where I hit. The, that's what I hit with the silver. Uh, the face of that weapon. Don't be afraid to go heavy on this because you always can drag it back off by unloading on the paper towel and coming back on and taking it back out. And usually the initial color that went down is going to be the strongest and these others are kind of just modifiers to it. Okay, washing all over. I don't like how pink his beard came out, so I am going to agrax his beard a little bit. Try to darken it down. It came out a little pink. Okay, now I'm going to unload the whole front beard. I'm going to try to hit it in one more orange. Okay, so see, I've taken off most uh, most of the mistake. I guess of putting that red on. And I come back with the orange. Okay. I'm gonna let the orange lay in there. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take yellow and go around the very top again. Unloading. Taking it off. Yellow again around the top here. It's going to give a stronger tint when it dries. When it blends all in. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit more orange on this uh, pigtail back there. almost done with this guy and a little brown to that horn and sometimes with straps and things like that you have to come back and paint them in the detail stage they're just not taking the uh, the tint well enough yeah it's gotten a thing in front of him so here you can take those out of his eyes okay I'm just about done with the wash and that's gonna be it and now I'm gonna let him dry for um, probably 30 45 minutes because I got a heavy it's got a lot it's got a lot of water on it right now a lot of water and so I'm gonna let him dry and we're 30 minutes in and uh, I'm gonna let him dry and I'll come back
Okay, now we're back. It's been about 30 minutes. Um, I've got it pretty much dry. As you can see, it kind of faded in. I'm not happy at all in the color of the hair and the beard and things like that. Not happy at all. It didn't pretty, it just didn't take. I, I made a mistake washing red first and it didn't take. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to dry brush a little bit of this Troll Slayer Orange onto the top lightly to give me a more orange look to the beard. I'm just going to go all over the beard. Staying away from the keys. But I was not happy with that color at all. So I want a more orange, a more orange beard. Okay, so I'm coming over with the orange. I'm still leaving the, the recesses and all blackish but it's turning a lot more orange that ponytail okay this is normally not a regular step with these a lot of times the color will take but sometimes if it won't if it doesn't take strong enough you can come back over with a dry brush of the color you're looking for and get it okay the next thing we're going to do we're going to start back in on highlighting the metallics now. And I'm going to be using my same small brush that I've made up, chopped up. An old Citadel medium glaze brush is just really tore up. But I'm going to use that for my... For my highlight brush. And then, uh, first of all, I'm going to highlight the gold, some of the gold or gold parts. I'm going to hit... I highlight with that auric gold and what I'm doing I'm dry brushing that too right on top of the gold I'm just gonna make it like an extreme gold get that helmet and it's really gonna bring out the gold what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do it all in this auric gold I normally dry brush a lot with that um, liberator gold but that gives a kind of a, a it can give an antique look and I'm going for a little bit brighter look on this guy. So I'm going to dry brush the gold areas with Auric Armor Gold. Okay, I go really, really light on the ones on the flesh because I do not want to. I do not want to get back over on the flesh again. Okay, dry brushing all the gold parts. Okay, now I'm going to come back with that hash nut copper over the top of the parts that I had made bronze. And it's going to highlight the same way. Just a little dry brush over the top of these bronze parts up on the weapon. Bring that face out. Over here on these parts. On the axe. The face up on the helmet. Hit with that copper. And that will bring those out. Alright. That's all the copper. Now we're going to our, uh, another highlight. I'm going to go to a mithril silver. You can use Necron compound dry. It's pretty much about the same thing. But you're looking for like a bright, aluminous light color. And you're going to first do it on the uh, silver metal parts. You're doing the same thing. You're dry brushing. You're hitting the high parts. If you got a little bit of wash that's gone too heavy, you put a little bit more pressure down on your dry brush. You can get over the top and smooth those out. Once again, you're dry brushing. You're, you're using the paper towel to tell you how much you have on it. And when you first go on the model, use a sharp edge to make sure... You don't have too much on the brush. Use a sharp edge or some of the more spiky bits to drag off some of the paint and to tell you how much you have on it. Okay, I'm highlighting that the metal parts. Now, once I've done with all the silver parts highlighting, I'm going to go back with this same color over the gold and the brass, but very light. 
I'm just touching the edges of this gold and the brass just to bring out a little bit of highlight on it. I'm not doing a heavier highlight as I did on the silver. Alright. And on the brass too, you want a little bit. That's going to bring on the green highlights. The edge of that face is the cheekbones, the nose, the eyebrows. It's gotten this front here. And you're just dry brushing, dusting, you might say, and getting those keys. The parts of the axe were about done. <clears throat> okay, a few highlights here and there. Okay, and the very final part is going to be detail painting. Alright, and that's where you hit belt buckles, uh, straps, um, little things like that that have gotten covered over by all the dry brushing and, and things like that. Okay, we're just about done with this guy. There's going to be one final step, and that is... A technique developed by Mr. Remington Steele of the And in Rim Show. It's a, a YouTube broadcast that has given me much uh, inspiration. You should go check it out. But it's a little thing called dusting. And I'm going to... Uh, one of the final things on this guy is to take... Your dry brush. Load up with some white. And this is very, very subtle. You're hitting the, the tops of the uh, edges of some of the skin and the edges of just, I mean, very, yes, you could very, very light. So it really is a dusting of white that you're giving to this hair. Give it a little more highlight on it. And you're going to give it a little dusting up here and use more pressure up at the top. Less pressure as you go down to the inside. You want to stay completely off the metal with this white. Try to stay completely away from the metal. It's going to be hard around these ruins. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of his skin highlighted like this, but I will the main muscles that are, that are bulging out. Be able to get that. I'm going to try to touch in on his face a little bit. Don't forget the fingers. Okay, and he's almost done. Okay. Now, um, the last thing I'm going to do to him is a couple of detail paintings. Um, I'm going to go back in and paint his eye. I'm not going to show you that. You're not going to be able to see it. Uh, I'm going to probably go back in and dot his eyes, and I may take a little bit of wash, and I'm talking about Agrax, of course, and go back in and touch some of the spots that may have been over dry brushed. There's a spot in his mustache right here I want to hit, and it's a very small application of Agrax. To get back in those recesses that might if you might have over dry brushed too hard and you pushed a little too hard in the recesses okay I think I'm gonna highlight the front of his I mean you could go over this for you know a while but you know I'm trying to get him to get him on the table get him playing off my desk looking for my very small there she is okay I could touch a little bit more of this very bright silver I think to the front of his, to the front right there, to the top of that, just a couple of spots that just weren't bright enough, and we're just about done with this guy. Okay, now, if you get a look at him, 